Why, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be, going to be running you through the attach to command and the biz function multiplayer command, which is useful for sending local scripts through the, the network to other multiplayer players. So I'm going to do this in a slightly different way. I'm going to be actually doing this code with you. Hopefully, uh, that's the best way to learn. Um, so we're going to start by just by just placing down three things in the editor. We've got our player. Uh, respawn marker, respawn rest, and our object, which is the fireplace. So, if we flick over into the mission folder, I have my description.ext and my init.sgref. So, my init is empty, this is where we're going to do our code. My description.ext simply has the parameters needed for respawning. Respawning is good for testing, um, you know, because it makes your server persistent. So it's good for testing JIP, which is join in progress, by the way. Okay, so what do we want to do? First thing, we want to name our fireplace. So let's name it fireplace. I've done that already. So we're going to make this fireplace have an action. So fireplace, add action, and then we're going to give the action some text. So drag object. And then we want the code that will be called. In this case, I'm just going to call a function which we're going to make in a minute. I'm going to call this function drag object. Hate drag object. And that's all we're going to have in the fireplace for now. So let's create our drag object function. So just like this, we've created our function. So in here, we're going to have our fireplace and the person who's picking up the fireplace. Obviously it will be the player because it's local. So we're gonna get our object which is the fireplace. So our object will be equal to this select zero because object is equal add action passes in three arguments. Um, it passes the object, it passes the person who calls the object, and it passes the ID of the action. So that's why we're doing this. Um, so we're going to attach this object to the player. Attach to, and then player, and then because it's a fireplace we want to give it some offsets, so zero. This will put it two meters in front of us when we attach it. And then we want to add an action to drop the object. So player add action drop and we're gonna create another function in a minute and we're gonna call function height drop object. So now we're gonna make our drop object function. So obviously in this function we want to detach the object and remove the action to drop the object. So, and we also need to get the object into this function. So, whereas this time, this time because this select zero will be the player, because we've added it to the player, not the fireplace, we need another way to get our object, which is attached to the player. So we're gonna use a set variable command here. So if we set the variable into the player, it'll be local to the player. So we're going to give the object a name, which is called object, and we, then we pass into we pass into the object. And you see how this comes in useful. So when the player calls this action to drop the object, we're going to get the object from his uh, variable. So the object equals player get variable object. So now we've got the object that we've set in here. So this is the still the same object that was attached to the player. So when object detach we want to detach the object. So now we've detached the object but the player still has an action saying drop. So what we're going to do to remove this is we're going to get the ID of the action which is by default we get the ID as a second argument. So 
like I said before, the add action passes in three arguments. The, the thing it's attached to, the user of the object, and the ID of the add, add action. So we've got the add action ID, so now we're going to remove the action from the player with the remove action command. Okay, so this is our basic setup. We're going to test it in the editor, make sure it works. And this is pretty much how you would do it. Um, so we're going to look for problems. If there are any problems, there will be some. So there we go, there's our action to drag the object. Okay, so you can see it's a bit below the ground there for some reason. That's very weird. So now we will drop the object. Okay, so that seems to be working okay. So we're just going to edit this a bit so it doesn't go into the ground. So we'll make this 0.3, so it's 0.3 meters above the ground. And we'll try it again. There we go. As you can see, that's worked nicely. So, now we have to take into account other players. So, at the moment, everyone can see this drag object add action on the fireplace. Which is, of course, um, good. It is good until someone picks up the object. So I'm dragging the object. What if another player comes along and tries to drag the object too? So, to get around this, we need to make it so the drag object add action disappears when someone's dragging the object. So to do this we're going to use the drag obj object conditions. So if we have a look on the website for add action we can see our all the arguments you can pass into the add action. So we've got the units, we've got the, n the text, we've got the script, the arguments, we'll just replace that with nil so nil, the priority 6, we want it low priority we want it not to show um, in the middle of the screen when you approach we don't want it to disappear when we add the action and so hide on you, show window, we've just done them both as false shortcut, we don't need one so we'll just put an empty string and now we're into our conditions so in here we can place our conditions that will make this object show the action. So we got fireplace set variable. We're gonna call this variable dragged. And at the moment dragged will be false because obviously it's not been dragged yet because we've just added the action. So in our conditions we use target this is the referring to fireplace so whatever has the object uh, I mean add action attached to it will be referred to as a target within this conditions so conditions get variable dragged now that's a double speech mark that because it's in a string so while it's false so while this equals false this is just another term for false if you don't know that then this add action will show so now we need to make this work by when the object is being dragged we're going to set its variable to true so the add action will disappear and then when we drop it again we'll set the add variable to false again so it's available for the people to move so let's quickly try this Hopefully this will work. So all we're doing right now is setting up the script so it works. It, once we've done this we can move on to making it work with other people in a multiplayer environment. Okay so that, that works. That's exactly how we want it. So now we're going to make this multiplayer compatible and more flexible in a way. So in the init.sqf we want to call this only with the server 
because we don't want multiple add actions so when the server runs the init once it will do this so we'll set the object as fireplace and then we're going to use our biz function multiplayer command so that's this one here so we're going to pass into it our object and then we're going to pass into it our add action function which we haven't made yet we're going to make this in a minute and then we're going to send it to everyone and we're going to make it persistent which means JIP players will also get this okay so and we need to call that so we've sent our object to hate add action we have, which we haven't created yet to everyone and it will be applied to everyone who joins in progress and the object is of course fireplace so now we're going to make our hate add action function so hate add action equals so this is our add actions because we're using the argument we're going to we're going to get our argument for using this select zero so now we've got our fireplace from here and of course we just need to replace all these so it's dynamic so we're just going to try this now so now when we boot up the server will add the action to the drag object and it will make it local to everyone that's what the biz function multiplayer object does so now I'm going to switch over to the dedicated server and show you uh, show you this in a dedicated environment okay so I've PBO'd my mission and I've added it to my multiplayer folder and I'm inside my dedicated server now so what I'm going to do is continue and we go test this with JIP and dedicated of course so we're loading in right now the server is running through its init and it will be sending this add action to all the players and making it so JIP players also get the add action to drag the object so we're in let's have a look yes we've got the object and it's all working as it did in the editor which means we've got the locality and all the other bits and pieces that come with multiplayer scripting correct so I'm going to exit out exit out all the way back so Bang Bob's test server we're going to rejoin and okay so this is persistent which means it's where we left it or at least it should be so this is testing JIP and the JIP player has also got the object so that's it JIP is working dedicated server is working and uh, if we die then the add action will still be there because it's added to the object not the player so we don't need to manually add it, add it again so thank you for watching if you've got any more suggestions for videos please put comment them below uh, and I will see you next time